This is the table. Remember, the table is your friend. The game starts with a tile in the middle of the table. Then, players start to build the world of Carcassonne. Place your tile in one of the spots where it fits. Roads and cities need to connect to each other. Good choice. That's a nice spot for your tile. Now, sometimes when you aren't too sure about the spot, you might want to change your mind. Let's try that. Pick your tile up again and move it somewhere else. Exactly like that. It looks much happier here, doesn't it? To finish your move, tap the check mark. So now that you know how to build the world, let's look at scoring points. These are your meeple. Win the game, place them on landmarks. When a landmark is completed, you get your meeple back and score points. So that's what you want to do. You can place your meeple in a city or in a cloister and on roads or fields. That is, if it's not already occupied by someone else, of course. To complete a city, you have to close its wall. A completed road starts and ends at a settlement or a crossing. Cloisters need to be completely surrounded. Fields are never complete. But don't be sad, you will get points for all completed cities on it at the end of the game. Isn't it time you finally scored some points? Let's complete this city and get ahead. Now we should put one of the meeple on there. Tap the button in the upper right. Move your meeple to the placeholder in the city. Perfect. Now tap the check mark. Look at that. You got four points. And notice that you got the meeple back as well. Wonderful isn't it? While you are playing, the world can get quite big. If you want to see more, zoom in or out by pinching on the table. Try it! It's fun! Great! Now you know everything you need to play your first game of Carcassonne. Should you need me again, you can find me in the manual section. Have fun playing.